but I'm going to push it back a little bit. Hey, YouTube, it's your girl, Michaela. If you're new here, hi. If you're not new here, welcome back. Okay, so today I'm giving y'all the very much highly requested video. I posted a, a little question thing on my Instagram a few days ago, um, and now I'm here giving y'all the video. Okay, I was going to put the video off, but I was like, no, I need to actually sit here and record the video. I was going to do it because I'm trying to make this quick. Like, not quick, but I don't want to, like, bore y'all. So, first question I have, we're going to start from the very beginning. They said, they, do you know how to increase appetite for fast metabolism or any proteins that would help? Okay, so... Definitely for me, like, I'm not the one to ask about eating because I eat whatever I want. I eat whatever I want. So, I'm definitely not the one to ask. But, um, I eat a lot of, like, lean foods now, like lean ground beef. Um, I eat turkey. Um, I I'm, like, trying to stay away from, like, high-calorie stuff. So, mainly the stuff I've been eating is, like, low-calories. Um, what else? I, tr I pretty much just eat a lot of protein. Like, I eat a lot. I just eat and I eat and I eat. But I noticed, like, when, when I work out, like, I used to be able to survive off, like, maybe one or two meals or a meal and a snack. And my body would be cool. Like, I wouldn't even be hungry. But I noticed the more I worked out and the more I was actually feeding my body all four of my meals. So, like, breakfast, lunch snack dinner and then a, a midnight snack once I started doing that I kind of like I noticed that my body got became hungry more than usual so like I don't know so I just say maybe eat more and do your research because I don't know um next question do you drink first of all um never mind I'm not even gonna say nothing um, and if you do, what's your favorite drink? I do not drink. Um, what's your favorite song when you in the gym? So, <laughs> um, great question. I have a whole playlist of everything. Like, I listen a lot of, like, rock and a lot of, like, 90s kind of, you know, 90s rock and all that kind of stuff. But... The song I've been playing recently probably has to be a protection charm. I got that off Instagram Reels. If you know, you know. I've been listening to, I just be listening to anything, y'all. Recently, this little song right here. I don't know. That's been on repeat, especially today. Next question What's your gym pet peeves? Um, y'all are gonna hate me for this. But I literally cannot stand when I'm in the gym. And well, I, it's not that I hate it or like it's something that I really like that really irks my soul. But like when people record in the gym, like it kind of like like when it's it becomes a lot when it's like. Like I have to worry about like, oh, oh my gosh, let me not be in the frame or something like that. No, no, no. That's not a pet peeve. That's we're not even going to say that because I don't I'm not really used too bothered by that i think it's when people are like at like a machine or something and they'll be sitting there talking instead of actually working out and it's just like especially like when it's the machine that i need it's like what are you doing i literally had one lady no no hate to her but um she was on the hamstring curl machine and um, she was just running her mouth, just talking, just talking. So I'm like, okay, usually I just kind of like wait it out and see if like they're going to eventually get to work and then move on to the next workout. But she was still talking. So I was like, okay, I have to go ask her, like, how many more sets do you have? She was like, oh, I have one more set. I was like, okay, okay, okay. So I ran back to where I was and she's still over there talking. So I'm like, girl, like, ugh. So that, I think that's one of my pet peeves. <sighs> um, but like I was saying before, I was interrupted. I don't really
really have a lot of gym pet peeves. Like, I just be... Um, let me think. Maybe, like, when people are, like, so... I get it. You're at the gym. You just want to work out. But, like, I feel like people just need to be more friendly. Like, today, I was, like, struggling on my squats. And I had people looking at me. They were looking at me, and they saw me struggling. And I'm just like, why is nobody, like, offering to, like, spot me or, like, help me, you know? But humans are going to be humans. <laughs> Next question. What made you start working out? Um, This is, it's actually funny because I only, I don't know what it was. I think really mainly was my mom. Like, she used to work out a lot. And two, I used to be at a gym. I used to be at a gym. I used to work at a gym. So... I, I was like, let me see what this is about. And then I kind of fell in love with it. So, yeah. Um, Next question. What pre-workout and protein powder do you recommend? Um, The protein. Okay. I use two protein or I drink two protein powders. I don't even like protein. So, that's the first thing. Know that I don't like protein i don't like protein shakes it's not that i don't like it but it's just something that i like i don't really care for anymore because i used to drink them so much but um I'm, I'm looking for it um there's this one brand i like and it's this my mom bought it and i was like i fell in love with it cq clear weight isolate protein in it you can see that I posted it on my story. If you go to my Instagram story, you can see it in my highlights. But those are one of the brands that I use. And the other one is, um, let's see if I can find it because I don't really want to get up. Um, but definitely you can go to like the vitamin shop and get it. It's literally where I got mine. Um, oh, it's right here. It's Body Tech. So the protein that I have is um the cq and the body tech protein and for pre-workout i don't drink pre-workout guys like i don't like caffeine that makes me itchy or like that has me like any caffeine gives me anxiety and it makes me i don't know it makes me jittery so i try to steer away from protein i mean pre-workout but the pre-workout that i do have that if i ever decide to use it it's like this, um, like this Sour Patch Kids pre-workout. Um, let me see if I can find it. It's by Ghost, um, and I got it in the flavor Sour Patch for anybody that's wondering. Obviously, you're wondering. <laughs> okay, next question. Biggest challenge or thing you're working on within yourself? Definitely my, like, how fast I become... I don't even know how to explain it like I get really irritated fast but I'm trying to work on that and I'm trying to be like more more of like a happy per I'm like I'm a happy person but like I mean like slow to anger like something could happen to me and somebody could do me wrong and I'd be just like ah but I know that I can't do that I just have to forgive and move on but it's not easy um what else self-sabotaging things like i don't know why i do that but i self-sabotage a lot of opportunities a lot of relationships a lot of friendships and i don't know why what else um i don't really know it's like that's a really good question um like i have a lot that i need to work on so yeah um, next question is, what do you do to know what weights you need and what weight you need them? Wait, <laughs> what do you know to what what did you do to know what weights you need and what weight you need them? See, I read it wrong. I'm sorry. OK, I don't get the question, but um. I honestly, I just, 
I start with the lowest weight and then I work my way up. So you just have to just experiment. I mean, it ain't really nothing to it. Next question I got, do you still dance? No, I do not. I do not dance. Dancing, my dancing um, life is over. It's been over for a minute. I do wish that I was still dancing, but you know, things happen. Next question is, how did you get into reading the Bible more? Um, honestly, I'm going to be so honest with y'all. I started reading the Bible more when I got a cuter Bible. I know that sounds insane, but y'all can see my Bible, my little two Bibles up here. Like the purple one, it was cute while it lasted, but then I was like, I want something cuter where I can, you know, write notes in it. And then I got the other one and... I just think it's so cute and it just makes me want to just open my Bible more. I don't know. Yeah. Um, next question. What's your body goals? Um, my body goals. I definitely want to be more meaty and more strong. But I want to have like, I don't want to have like a manly, a manly, a manly body. I just want to be like, her. you know, I don't know if that answers your question, but I just want to be big. Um, least favorite workout in the gym? Um, probably hip thrust. I don't know how to do hip thrust, y'all. Like, no, I don't think hip thrust. Um, hmm, that's a really good question. Um, but I don't really have like a least favorite workout yet. Um, how much do I squat? Um, I don't really typically squat, but recently I've been squatting and I've so far I've only squatted 90 I think I know I don't squat that's just not my forte but so far 90 well with hack squats it's totally different with hack squats okay so with hack squats I can squat 110 I know that's insane but with barbell squats like on the smith machine I can only squat 90 so yeah what makes you so motivated um i don't know i just like i i just be like first of all i, I always ask god for motivation you know um but i guess like just not wanting to be like a, a crepe like i don't know i just want to try to be like the best version of myself for god so like that kind of what I don't know. I don't even know, y'all. This is horrible. All right. We're going to get into the next question. The last two questions. Um, what's something you never told your parents? Um, I mean, nothing. I mean, my mom has found out about kind of almost everything I've done. So, nada. Um, and someone just said I need that waste with Y'all. It was, it's genetics. It's genetics. Okay. But, um, I hopefully this video turned out right. If it didn't, I'm probably going to be mad. But if it didn't turn out right, I'm just going to post it. And y'all are going to get the raw and uncut version of the Q&A. Um, but I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, hit that bell so you'll be notified every time I post a video. Bye, y'all.